Hi guys, this is Marhadad here again. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how you can get the, the driver for this cable. So let me show you. I have a console cable and uh, I don't have a serial uh, port on my computer. Then I'm using this one, which has uh, from here, from that side to connect it to the console. And from this side is the USB. So uh, this cable, this is a, uh, needed so I can connect the console to my Juniper router. So I'm using the uh, Cisco cable, which is that one, to be able to connect to the Cisco, uh, to the Juniper router actually. So today I was just doing some tests on the Juniper routers and it took me two hours to be able to get driver for the USB to a serial to be able to connect to my Juniper router via console. So uh, then I said, okay, if it takes me two hours, that means that a lot of people also are facing the same issue. So I said, well, I will do a video to show you how you can get the driver for this cable, which most of us, we use it, because nowadays we don't have a serial port on our computer to connect uh, directly the uh, uh, console cable to our uh, serial port. So uh, then, uh, I do this video to show you the steps, how you can get the driver and how you make it working. So let me show you first now what issue I have and then uh, we'll go step by step to solve the problem. So I have already connected my console cable now to my Juniper router to the USB and connected to my computer. And uh, if you want, I can just show you if I go and uh, look to a Terra term. So Terra term is a software that I use uh, to be able to know what com am I connected to? So if I, you look, we have only com4, and if I say on it open or okay, then you see I'm not able to go to the console to the Juniper router. So it doesn't matter if it's Juniper or Cisco or any other device, it's a console connection. And uh, then what I have done, I just tried, written here device manager. And uh, when I uh, try to check on my device manager here, I have seen that this one is the USB 2.0 serial. So this one is not recognized by Windows. I have done any possible things to be able to get the driver and to make it work. And yeah, it was really a mess for two hours I spent until I could find a solution which I'm going to share with to you. So the solution is the following. I have seen this website, which is for a, I don't know which company is it. I think it's a Chinese company. So they have a given here, I'm going to leave for you this link. They have said that you can get this driver or this file, and this file contain the driver for the uh, console uh, USB to serial port. Actually, it's for the USB to serial and uh, connected to the console. So let's click on download to download this file. This file is very small, you see. So uh, we have it already. Let's put it here. And now, if I make here extra, you should be having your uh, cable connected already. So it's already connected. Otherwise, it doesn't show on the device manager. Now we go inside of that folder and let's put it here on the screen so you can see. So all you need to do is to just click on setup. And once you click on setup, then you have to say here yes. And you got that one. And all you need to do is to say install. So once you say install, in a moment, here we go. Driver install success. So now that means if I go to, again, to the device manager, you can see that the USB is showing up and also it's telling you which COM is being used, COM5. So if I go back to TerraTerm and we open here on the serial, you see I have COM5. I connect to it. Here we go. I'm inside my Juniper router. Very good. So, yeah, we are network engineers and we always require to use a console cable, but we always also use the USB to serial converter to be able to connect to the console port of the router. So with this driver, you can be sure that you will get the driver correctly installed on your computer and the problem is solved. So I just wanted to share this with you because I really spent like two hours until I could find a solution. And this is a workable solution. You can use it 
anytime you have a new computer, because in my case, I am now not in the office, I'm working, uh, I'm doing some testing for Juniper at home, and uh, the first time I'm connected to console from my computer, which is at home, so I end up having this issue. Two hours I spent, that's fine. I could make a video out of it for you, so you can know how in the future, in case you are connected to the console cable, how uh, you can uh, use uh, this uh, uh, driver to be able to install the driver for that uh, USB to uh, serial. So this is all what I wanted to show you in this video. So there's no any configuration, nothing. It's only to show you how you can get the right driver to make your USB to serial cable working on your computer PC. So I hope that this video was informative for you and I'll see you in some other videos.